Hello friends and welcome to another video. I'm National Master Rafael Eite, growing our account rating up to 2000 or even more and explaining my moves as I play on chess.com. Okay, so here we have an opponent from India. India are very strong players, very, very strong. We need to be very careful here because India uh, chess is becoming more and more popular in India. Um, and uh, inspired by true legends like Vishwanath and Anand, we do have so many good players nowadays like Gukesh, uh, Ramesh Babu, Pragnananda, Erigaisi and many, many others. So we need to be very, very careful here. So um, let's go. So I'm, I'm going with the Petrov defense, which I'm counterattacking now in the center. And um, yeah, but we do have many, Adiban Baskaran, and um, well, I'm, I'm certainly uh, missing other great names here. And Vidit uh, Gujarati, yeah, we do have a lot. So, um, okay, so this is the four knights defense. We're just developing the knights. He's attacking towards the center. I am grabbing the pawn and uh, he's probably recapturing with the knight and then bishop e4 is like the main line for, for this opening. This is the main theory. So we are mm, pinning the knight, attacking the center. Mm. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. So um, I, I need to think a little bit now because I can take here as an intermediate move and then take here. And of course, I'm, not, I'm no longer castling, but at least I'm attacking the pawn. I will go for this. Let's see what happens. So okay, he, 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 this is like a no-brainer move for him, so he just um, took back the piece and now my, my knight is attacking the pawn. Oh, nice shot, nice shot, nice shot. All right, tough, he's gonna castle with a check, which is amazing move, this is always an amazing move. So I uh, need to be very, very careful here. Should I play here and allow him to double pawns? He's gonna do a check and I'll go here. Okay, I'm gonna try this. I, I, because I need to be very careful here. This was a powerful move. Now, if, this is not a good move because it allows me to... Yeah, this is one is far better. So he played very, very accurately here. And uh, not this one. Maybe maybe check first was better, but I don't know. Oh, he's not uh, castling. Okay. Now my king is well positioned. And uh, I think that uh, he could have take more advantage of the position, but I think it's, he's doing still very, very well here. So let's fight for the column. Yeah, rook g8 was also another possibility and it still is. C5 is interesting, threatening C4. I do like this move a lot. I do like this move a lot. Yeah, I do like this. I will repeat it. I will repeat it. I do like this move a lot. Because if he plays e4, then the bishop is kind of bad placed. But now it's bad placed anyway. I do like this idea. And now I need, just need to be careful. So probably this move makes sense. Because now I can play b5 to protect my pawn. Can he play this? I think he can, but I'll play this anyway. Things are starting to get very interesting. Things will get pretty interesting at this point. Oh, nice move. So we need to play this. Because now we can, you know, go back with the bishop. Oh, what, it, what I just did. Oh, I played so fast. It was game over here. Oh, that's, oh, that's too bad when it happens. Let's just pretend it didn't happen because now I'm kind of sad. I could have finished the game and I didn't. <laughs> now I have to play like 40 more moves. <laughs> That's so sad. I was just so focused on, on, on this stuff that I didn't see that he blundered. But okay, that's fine. You know, at least we are training a little bit more on the game. So, okay, I think this is completely winning now. What is our strategy? We just exchange the rooks and this is over. The, this this end game is winning for 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 black here. My king is just going there, and there's no way he can save the position. It's completely over. He couldn't have it exchanged. He couldn't have exchanged the um, the rooks. 
Now the game is over. Now his king can not... He, he, he's not going anywhere. Hmm. I can push the pawn here, but uh, this is very risky. I think he should just capture, but by doing that, his king kind of enters the position, but it's not really not entering because I do have this bishop check idea. He's trying to do some trickery here, which is very, very powerful and dangerous. Very, very powerful and dangerous. He's gonna push this next move. And uh, what can I do against it? Can I play here then? Maybe I can. Maybe I must. But then he's gonna have a passed pawn there. I just want so hard that he kings he king goes out of there. I will play this, but I might be making a huge blunder here because now he's gonna push the pawn. But um, I think that I'm, I will have to sec the bishop and try to play this. At least now my king gets some activity. Now I can play this. Let's not. Let's be very careful here. And I can also play this. But if I play this, no, not good. So if I play here, he pushes, right? So if he pushes, I play here. It's gonna be fun, at least. Can he? No, I think my king can, can, my king can be back in time here. Like I take, he takes, and then I can play here, right? Yeah, very dangerous endgame. We, we are probably both making a lot of mistakes. So here I'm forced to capture. Here I'm forced to capture. There's a no-brainer here. I have to capture. This is forced. But now I can play this, you know. Because if I capture here, he's going to play here, right? But uh, no, not really a concern because this pawn can also march. I, I push the pawn. And if he pushes the pawn, I go here. And then if he brings the king, I pass the pawn. And it's all over. So I think I can capture. And I think I can play this move. I think both moves are okay. But if I play this, can he play this? I think he can. Capture and bring the king. Like he's just trying to go for here, but I pass the pawn as well. I think both moves are winning. But uh, maybe he can do like this. He can, you know, just bring my king there and, and go here. Yeah, I think that's what he's gonna do. So I'm just capturing here and keeping my king here. So, um, yeah. All right, I guess here. Just hope I'm not blundering anything. This king will go nowhere. Should I go with my king here? Because then the bishop is trapped. I'm not sure because this is dangerous that he can play like this. And... Well, I still can play here. He's gonna sack, right? But then I got this pawn, which is gonna march. So, uh, this, this is very tricky because if he goes here, I play here, well, then he can capture, right? So I think this one is fine. And then maybe this one, no, this, this is taking this square from my king. Maybe this, simple chess. You know, I play here, he plays here, I play here. Because then he's kind of in Zugzwang. His bishop will have to go here, right? And then... So maybe a5 is better. So let's just play because my time is... I'm running out of time. And I think this move is important to, to not allow him to do other things. But uh, here... Maybe I go here, he will go here, I go here, he promotes, I push the pawn, there's no way to stop it. So he can never promote. So if I go here, he goes here, I go here, he cannot promote. And I'm threatening here, and what else am I threatening? Here then? 
and here and this. But he's gonna sack. Is this pawn winning? Is this pawn winning? Yes, because this promotion square is the same color as the bishop. We got some advanced stuff here, guys. But I think maybe more simple is to go with the king. But I'm just afraid I won't be able to do it in time. I think I am. So I think this is the best shot. If he goes here, I protect it. And if he goes here, I don't care. I just go here. He will take. I just go here. He will take. I just go here. He will promote. And then he will take. But these pawns are going to win, I guess. So I think this wins, and I think this also wins. But I think this one wins easier. Again, he's going to come here. I go here. He promotes. I go here. Am I winning here? I don't think I am. I think this one is winning. I'm not sure about the other. So I got two minutes now. I got to execute it. I got to execute it. He can promote and bring the king. It's another idea for him. And, you know, try to make me, force me sack. But I think I'm winning because this bishop is strapped. It's very tough to decide uh, for, for white what to do here. Probably not the best. I can simply push the pawn now. I think it's over. Because he tried to go. He'll never, he will never. Yeah, this is the safest way to win. There's, it's simply over. He's going to resign now. Now it is no-brainer to win this endgame. Now it is no-brainer. He couldn't have played this move. So now this is a no-brainer. This pawn is unstoppable. This bishop can do nothing. He's in this jail. And there's nothing he can do to stop the pawn. Yeah, a very nice game. Shadow, a strong player here. Let's get a report. It's a completely winning end game now. But I think we both lost some chances, missed some moves, made some blunders. blunders. So uh, let's take a quick review here and uh, maybe have uh, hopefully get some insights. Yeah, the game was wild. And uh, way to finish off the game, accurately converting your endgame advantage into a win. Okay, that's true, but we have a miss here, very important. Let's take a quick review here. So, okay, the, the opening is very, very um, usual here. So this is all theoretical stuff. And yes, this was the, it, this is the main move. I don't know why I got confused here. So I think this one is the most played move here. Yeah, but I went for this another line, bishop takes with the computer. Doesn't approve it, uh, but I don't. I don't. I, I do like it. I do like it. I don't know about the computer. Has anyone ever played this? Um, yes, some strong players, not grandmaster levels, but uh, not at grandmaster level. But some people try this. Well, not a problem at all. H6 kind of forced, and uh, okay, not a problem. So he creates some weaknesses. So I think the game is okay. So far, so good. He made no mistakes. Neither did I. So, um, yeah, I think that was the problem. So he allowing me to play c4 was a problem. So he needed to exchange here. And, you know, it's equal. He, he, would, uh, he would have to admit that I could undouble my pawns and that it is equal. And, uh, and that we're going to play it. I have double pawns, you have double pawns, and it's equal. But he tried to keep an advantage by not undoubling my pawns and play it like this. But now c4. Now it's really tough to play like with the white pieces. So I played this, not the best idea. So here, just going for the exchanges immediately is better according to computers. And now is the moment I could have finished the game. <laughs> and uh, because I didn't do it, then I have to play a lot more moves. So, okay, that's, that's part of the game. But now bishop to c8, and here is, is his, uh, I think this is the final mistake. The computer says it's a good move. I don't think it is. I think it's the final mistake. Uh, rook d4 here, maybe doubling the, the rooks, I don't know, maybe trying to get some mobility for, for the pawn so the bishop can survive, but uh, can be back in the game. But uh, this, I think it's um, the, not the final mistake. The final mistake is allowing to exchange this. Now he can not, not in a way, exchange the rook. He, he, he got to put pressure here. Never, never he could exchange the rooks. Now this is completely winning. The computer says it's one point. I will, uh, I will put more depth here. It's probably 10. Uh, the, the, the advantage is probably infinite. Let's, let's see. Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be more every time. Yeah, as you can see, like 
It's uh, the computer is maybe trying to find a way to draw here, which is very surprising. Very, very surprising for me that computer is, tr is trying to find a way to draw this. Wow, 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 wow. For me, it's very surprising because it seems my position is much more active. But let's see. Um, so, so far, so good. Now, king d6. So, actually, white is winning here. Guys, end games are so tough. You know, that's what separates the, 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 the boys from, from, <laughs> from the guys, the men. And that's what separates Grandmasters from Super Grandmasters and Super Grandmasters from Magnus Carlsen. You know, that's the end game. Uh, so here, white is winning, which is, you know, if you ask me what I do, pre in, in which position I prefer to be here, I would say black, no doubt. And it's losing. So let's see the winning move here it would be e5. I don't believe it's winning. So what? If I just capture, he's gonna bring the king. So I don't have h5 ideas at any point. So if I capture, he captures. Now there's no h5. So king a5. So he's, he, ha he has this pawn takes, pawn takes, h4, and he's completely winning. Because I think that when I reach there, so not g5, h5. Not g5. No, g5 also winning. And then when I reach here, he sacks and push. Oh, the point is that my bishop cannot. Oh, the point is that my bishop cannot cannot uh, protect the square. Wow, that would be. That would be really, really serious. E5 taking advantage of the lack of mobility of my bishop as well. Not only his one is trapped, by, but mine is not accurately playing. So this was actually a mistake. So this is high, high, high advanced. So, uh, but yeah, so we can see that uh, on end games, like one move can change everything. Change everything. Like this came from winning to losing and the one... He, he played was from winning to losing as well. So you can see how delicate it is. And it, it is that it is easy to play end games, but actually this is the hard part. This is the hardest part. Wow, and this is so critical, so sensitive. You make a mistake, you, you just threw away all the games, all the moves that you played because of one move. This is insane. But okay, now I'm winning again. At least I think so. So he went for this and now only bishop f3. And I found this idea, so wow, that's the only move. Well, yeah, that's kind of logical because now he's threatening some really pawn pushes here, pawn storm, so it makes sense. So, and now only pawn takes. So we are in a, in a dangerous situation here. Bishop capturing was fine. And now bishop d7, only move? No, I think bishop h5, is, it caused a mistake. It's called a mistake, but I think it's so still winning. It's probably winning, so it couldn't be called a mistake if it still wins, but I'm not sure it's, it still wins. Let's see if there was some mistake here. A5 is the best move, so king here is winning. That's, that's really odd, because it was not finding my move, king h5. Now it is, but uh, as you, if you go back a little bit on this video, you can see that it was telling to say a5 with one point advantage. But then I play this move and, and, he, and now he knows it's winning. So even the computer gets confused on, the, on those end games. And here is now here is a no-brainer victory. But the point is that he's in Zugzwang here. There is no good play. There is no good move for him. And uh, Zugzwang is a word, a German word that means it. There's no, no move. Every move we lose. So uh, yeah, a very tough end game, a very nice game. And I think the main lesson here is that uh, we, need to, we need to always... Uh, believe in the game, even if you're like think you're losing, the end games can change everything, can change everything. So, um, and uh, the sad part is that most of the times we have little time to play the most difficult part in the game, which is the end game. Uh, it is a paradoxal that uh, we have fewer pieces over the board and it gets more complex. 
And I don't think it is more complex, but I think it's more sensitive. You know, in the mid game, if you make an inaccuracy or not the best move in the position, chances are you're not gonna lose because of that. But at the end game, it's like very, every move is critical. Every move is very sensitive. You make a punt push that is not the correct one. We, you go from winning to losing, from losing to winning. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, the, and the sad part is that uh, most of the times we don't have enough time in the end games, which <laughs> we, we, sh we, we would need. And um, so, yeah, I think that's the main lesson. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you like the video, consider giving your thumbs up and also subscribing to the channel. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for your audience. See you next time.